What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you were new to the channel, I am Gold Pony and with us here is the new 2020 Honda Accord. And so I am finishing up my review of it and you guys will already be able to see it on the channel at the time of this particular video coming out. So as you guys probably already know, I have recently also reviewed the 2020 Toyota Camry. These two cars have been at war, so to speak, for quite a while now. And they are both top sellers and quite honestly, they are both very solid picks. And they are quite similar as well in several areas. However, this particular video is going to point out 10 of the key differences between this 2020 Honda Accord and the 2020 Toyota Camry I recently reviewed. Hope this helps you guys make a decision if you were considering these two. And I am quite excited to see who actually wins this competition and I will give you a clear winner at the end of this video. So be sure to stick around until the end and let's go ahead and get started with our number 10. All right, so starting with number 10 and working backwards, the first difference between the 2020 Camry and 2020 Accord, of course, is the pricing. And so the Accord is going to start at the base trim level at $23,870, that is for the LX, $36,100 for the Touring. On the other hand, Camry is going to start at $24,295 for the L, $35,000 even for the XSE V6. That is the top trim level there. So if you were looking for a more inexpensive option, the Accord does take that prize that is gonna be slightly, not a whole lot of a difference there, but slightly less expensive than the 2020 Camry. However, when it comes to the top of the line option, if you were planning on going all out, Camry is gonna be slightly less expensive than the completely topped out 2020 Accord. So for this first comparison, I'm going to have to call this one a tie. And let's move on to number nine. Number nine comparison is going to be reliability. According to Consumer Reports, this is gonna be the 2018 ratings because both actually the 2019 and 2020 ratings are not quite out, but there's not too much of a difference between the cars now and what they were two years ago. So as far as reliability goes, according to Consumer Reports, the Accord is going to score an average reliability rating the Camry is going to score an above average reliability rating. So therefore, Camry wins this one, one to nothing Camry. Moving on to our number eight difference being the rear leg room. And so if you're looking for a sedan, there's a good possibility that you may have rear passengers. So therefore, this one is going to be important. When it comes to the rear leg room of the 2020 Honda Accord, that is gonna come in at 40.4 inches. 2020 Camry comes in at an even 38 inches. So therefore, Accord does offer a little bit more leg room. I also did wanna mention with the Accord, you do have the available rear heated seat option, whereas you do not have that with the 2020 Camry as well. So this one is definitely a clear winner as well. As far as the rear passenger seats and rear leg room goes, I am going to have to give this one, of course, to the 2020 Honda Accord, putting our score at one to one. Moving on to number seven being the power differences. Honda Accord base engine is a 1.5 liter turbo four cylinder, 192 horsepower, 192 pound feet of torque. Camry gives you a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder. Big difference there between the two. 203 horsepower, 184 pound feet of torque. When it comes to the base engines, the two 2020 models that I drove were both the base engine in the Camry and the Accord. Camry felt slightly quicker, but really there isn't much of a difference between the base power plants. And I think the Camry felt slightly quicker because it is a naturally aspirated engine. Not that the 1.5 liter turbo in the Accord has any kind of turbo lag, but naturally aspirated engines are always gonna feel a little quicker off the line than a turbocharged engine for the most part. When it comes to the differences between the more powerful engine setups, the Honda Accord gives you a two liter turbocharged four cylinder, same engine found in their high performance Civic Type R. That one puts out 252 horsepower, 273 pound-feet of torque, giving you a zero to 60 of 5.7 seconds. On the other hand, 2020 Camry gives you a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6. So big difference between the two there. Honda uses a turbocharged setup for both of their engines, whereas the Camry uses a naturally aspirated setup for both of their engines. So whether you like one or the other, that is going to be a big difference. And by the way, that 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6 for the Camry comes in at 301 horsepower, 267 pound feet of torque. Once again though, zero to 60 in 5.7 seconds approximately. So given that we have the same zero to 60 time in the more powerful engine setup, tiebreaker is going to come down to the four cylinder. So in my book at least, being as in the Camry, it has slightly more power 
and a naturally aspirated setup. I am gonna to have to give this one to the Camry, although they are very, very similar between the two. So we're gonna call this one two to one to the Camry at this point. Moving on to number six on our list being the fuel economy or miles per gallon. When it comes to the four cylinder engine setup, the Accord is going to give you 30 in the city, 38 on the highway. Camry is going to give you 29 in the city, 41 on the highway. Quite a substantial difference there in the highway number. So as far as the four cylinder engine goes, clear winner is Camry on that one. When it comes to the more powerful engine setup, the Accord gives you 22 in the city, 32 on the highway. Camry also gives you 22 in the city, 32 on the highway. So giving that that particular engine setup is a tie. Once again, tiebreaker comes down to the four cylinder. So once again, I'm going to have to get that one to the Camry seeing as it gives you 41 miles per gallon in a mid-size sedan on the highway. A lot of compact and subcompact cars don't even give you that. So it's quite impressive actually. So three to one Camry, let's move on to number five. And so number five is actually going to be the safety comparison, a very important one, especially if you are hauling family members or kids in either of these midsize sedans. And so once again, there is a very clear difference here. The Honda Accord is an IIHS top safety pick, which is excellent, that is great. Camry is an IIHS top safety pick plus. And so there is a reason for that slight increase in safety rating there by IIHS when it comes to our two cars here. Both have some very cool standard safety features. Honda gives you Honda Sensing, they call it. Toyota gives you Toyota Safety Sense. They both come with things like adaptive cruise control, as well as lane departure alert systems, and a lot more actually as well. But ultimately the reason for the difference in the safety rating when it comes to IIHS is actually the headlights. The headlights are going to be a little brighter with the Camry, so therefore the Camry takes the win here as well, giving our score four to one Camry. And before you guys go down to the comment section now and start saying I am all about Toyota products, I am not, I've owned four or five Hondas. I have yet to own a Toyota car. So I am actually partial to Honda. I have sold Hondas as well as a car salesman way back in the day. So don't say that, it is not true. But I am being completely fair and unbiased right now. There's, at least that's what I am trying to do. So anyways, let's go ahead and move on to number four. Number four on our list is going to be cargo space. Once again, a clear difference. Honda Accord comes in at 16.7 cubic feet, which is well above average, actually for the mid-size sedan segment. Toyota Camry comes in at 15.1 cubic feet. So both cars also give you a 60-40 split. So you get a ton of extra space either way that you go with. But again, there is a clear winner here and that is the Honda Accord, putting our standings at four to two, Toyota Camry in the lead. Next on my list is number three, the interior quality. Both designs are honestly great, but there are two areas that I look for specifically when I review cars when it comes to interior quality, and that is how many plastics they actually have inside and what are the options available for the interior. And so when it comes to the Honda Accord, there are slightly more plastics, comparatively speaking to the 2020 Toyota Camry. Also, when it comes to the interior color options, there are gray and black interior color options, which are pretty standard, but for somebody that wants to change it up, I personally favor more options than just two particular colors, as well as different trim options like carbon fiber finishes, aluminum trim, things like that. There's plenty of different options that you can have on the interior of vehicles these days. When it comes to the 2020 Toyota Camry, it does have slightly less plastics. Also, gray and black interior options, but they do add one, and that is the cockpit red interior color option and that's going to be found everywhere including the seating the doors the dash everywhere on that 2020 Toyota Camry and I was definitely a fan that I was actually able to review one with that interior in the 2020 Toyota Camry so therefore because the Camry has slightly less plastics and an additional interior color option I'm going to have to give that one to the Camry as well five to two Camry let's move on to number two and so my number two comes down to the ride and handling. Both cars are amongst the most fun to drive cars in the midsize sedan class. And I would probably add the Mazda 6 to that list as well. But both offer McPherson strut front suspension with multi-link rear suspension with front and rear stabilizer bars as well. Accord steering feels much weightier to me. I gotta be quite honest. And I've driven nearly 500 cars at this point. It is a very clear, 
weightier steering wheel in the Accord, comparatively speaking to the Toyota Camry, which I love. Definitely points you in the direction that you wanna go a little better, and it gives the driver a better feeling of control over the vehicle. So for that reason, I do like the weightier steering wheel. So I gotta give the Accord that one, but in addition to that, one of these two cars actually offers an adaptive damping system as well. And that really gives you the best of both worlds because that's not only gonna soak up the road imperfections of any road that you're driving because it monitors each shock absorber individually, but it's also gonna tighten up the suspension during heavy cornering, again, giving you the best of both worlds. So that is a major suspension upgrade and the Honda Accord offers that in its touring trim level, its top of the line trim level. So overall, when it comes to ride and handling, in my opinion, it is a very clear winner. This one very clearly goes to the Honda Accord. And so that puts us at five to three Toyota Camry. And although we all know the winner at this point because I only have one comparison left, that one last comparison here that I'm about to give you may be very vital to your decision between the two. So make sure you stick around. Tech and audio. And this is always a big one for me because the bigger the screen and the better the sound system, I am always a fan of. So both offer seven and eight inch color touchscreen displays, depending on the trim level, of course. Both now give you Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And this is a new thing for the 2020 Toyota Camry, actually. Previously last year, the Camry gave you Apple CarPlay. Previous to that, it gave you neither. So now for 2020, it does give you both just like the Honda Accord does. So it is a pretty even playing field when it comes to that, but the sound systems, however, will differ. The Honda Accord will give you three sound systems to choose from, being a four speaker, eight speaker and 10 speaker sound systems as high as 450 watts with that 10 speaker sound system. On the other hand, the 2020 Toyota Camry will give you either a six or nine speaker sound system, but the speakers don't tell the whole story though, because that nine speaker sound system with the Toyota Camry will give you as high as 800 watts, nearly double the wattage of the top sound system on the Honda Accord. So that is quite interesting to take into consideration as well. Only the XLE and XSE V6 trim levels with the Camry will get that nine speaker sound system and only the EXL and Touring trim levels of the Accord will get that 10 speaker sound system. Therefore, this one in my book is going to have to be a tie. All right, so as you guys can see, there are very clear differences between both the 2020 Toyota Camry and the 2020 Honda Accord. And there's plenty of other options, by the way, out there as well. It's just these two are such a great comparison. They've been going to war for so long now. There's the new 2020 Hyundai Sonata coming out soon. There's the Mazda 6, Volkswagen Passat. There's a ton of options out there. So I actually wanna hear from you guys on this one. Between the 2020 Camry and the 2020 Accord, please put in the comments section which one you choose. I wanna see the comments section light up with your opinions. I always love reading them and I do read them, believe it or not. So let me know what you guys think and feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you like. Hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold.